Let's get to the phone lines. Mel in Saratoga, New York. Mel, line one, you're live. Uh, yeah, hi, good morning, John. What um, President Trump's uh, campaign manager, what they've got to do in regards to what he had claimed, what, what, what we all know is an economic bloodbath in the auto industry here in America because it, uh, the CCP, those sons of you-know-whos, are, are circum- they're, they're going around uh, the the you know the horn to get their product into our into our country. He, but what the what the Democrats and the media, the, the, the lame mainstream media, uh, is, is trying to portray him as saying, "Oh, well, there's going to be another insurrection, this and that, and the other because of public." No, he's got to. They got to start ro- running all of what Nancy, uh, who's that, uh, Maxine Liverlips Waters, and uh, the, uh, all the all the rest of the Democrats have, have have claimed that what they've got to do is get up in their faces. Run them away from this, and the other ones. I would want to punch them in the mouth. And this, and come on, they, they've got to run those. What the Democrats have said about what they want to do to MAGA supporters and President Trump. Run that into the ground twenty four seven, eight days a week until we uh, until their side realizes that they are just you know they, they're being led down a, a, a narrow path, a one way street. to get their behinds kicked that they think they're going to pick. Pick a fight with 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 uh, we patriot America MAGA MAGA uh, country people, and it's going to happen. I'm an American who happens to be black, all the 66 years of age. You know, any of these soy boys and these uh, uh, leftist libtard Karens want to jump my face, it'll be the last time they're jumping anybody's face. That's all I got to say, John. But seriously, that's what they they got to do. Start running what those what, what those criminals on the left have said, uh, and they get away with it. You know, it's BS. Full of All right, Mel. Thank you, John. Always good call. to hear from you, Mel. Look forward to seeing that filly of yours racing in a couple years, right? Looking, looking forward to that. Well, you know, she looks good, I'm man. John, she looks good. I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, yeah. She, she's game. She's definitely game. She, she likes what she's doing. I can't get a New York bred race to go, so I'm gonna have to run her open company against Florida bred Kentucky bred just to get a race under under. You know, you that, before take I head her back down, north, take her to Saratoga. Take her down to Colonial Downs. Take her for that meet. Take her, take her down here when it starts in July. They got, they've got a bunch of maiden races. They got great maiden purses. Probably the best you're going to find in the in the entire East Coast. So check that out at Colonial Downs. I'll, I'll see you there. Joining us now, C.J. Saylor, the executive director of Americans for Pro- Prosperity, Virginia chapter. CJ, great to have you. Got about eight minutes. Give me an, give give me an update. Oh, and uh, by the way, sorry for the Nikki Haley debacle. Give me give me an update. No, I'm not sorry. John, actually. good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you, John. Always. I'm not sorry for the Nikki Haley de- debacle at all. Actually, you <laughs> no guys worries. wasted uh, millions of dollars on that. But hey, whatever. <laughs> well, John, hey, it's always good to be with you, uh, especially to kick off. Um, Monday morning, but hey, we're here today because we got a really exciting event uh, going on today. We're calling it our Bidenomics is bad. Uh, we're doing these all over the country. We're doing them all over the state. Uh, it's really a time to get all of us who uh, love freedom and love opportunity together to really fight back against the high um, uh, wages, the high uh, increase in our monthly budgets, uh, the spending. Uh, we really are fighting back and this is an opportunity for us to really bring all of our folks together so we're doing an event today this evening all your listeners that are in the chesterfield area or if you're nearby we'd love to have you join us at uh, five o'clock at jojo's famous pizza and subs uh the purpose of these events is that we will purchase uh the pizza at the pre-biden uh amount of what <laughs> pizza was so we can show you how much people are spending now. I mean, we're up to at least 18% since Biden took office, and households are spending $11,400 more than they spent before Biden took office. So, Unbelievable. Uh, the point is that you come out, you get a free pizza on us, uh, two free slices and a drink, uh, and really you're going to hear from some business owners, hear from some community members uh, on how just bad the economy is now. This is open to everybody because everybody's being hurt by this. We want to bring everybody uh, no matter you know what your your views are, this is something we all could come together on. Um, so five o'clock, JoJo's Pizza. Uh, the address is one thirty three Brownsway Road, Melothian. Uh, it's Melothian Turnpike. JoJo's Famous Pizza at five o'clock. We'll love to have you. Please come support us. 
come get some free food and have a good discussion on getting rid of this Bidenomics. Starting so JoJo's Biden. famous pizza, and so you can go in there and buy pizza at uh, pre-Biden prices. Well, we've already purchased the pizza for them, so they they you know you can the, just go and have a pizza. Yeah, come on out and get a free pizza on us. But we purchased at the pre-Biden uh, numbers. Is what we're doing uh, to just to show you uh, just how much. Um, uh, things have have gone up uh, in the last uh, few years. Since so, uh, how, how much has it? So, if you bought bought a pizza, regular pizza, so how much has the price gone up for what you guys paid for it, and what you would have to pay for it now? How much is the difference? Yeah, well, we're, it, it's it's different by by just the, the business, the particular restaurant, but we're looking at an eighteen percent hike just across the board uh in uh household income for the month and so if you're looking at groceries you're looking at just eating out restaurants uh americans are spending eleven thousand four hundred dollars more than they did prior to to buy and taking offices and so uh what we're doing and uh, we got one coming up in virginia beach as well uh on saturday love to have you all out there we'll have more information on that uh we're doing this just not here in virginia but throughout the country uh we go in uh, we'll cover what that cost was prior Uh, And you get a free meal on us, and you get to hear from some awesome uh, lovers of freedom who uh, really is fighting back and talking about um, how much inflation is taking their prices up uh, for their cost of living. And these are folks from all walks of life, John, uh, that are that are upset uh, about uh, our economy today. Well, listen, CJ, um, grocery prices is what everybody knows and everybody feels, and they're continuing to go up, basically. Uh, I read an estimate today that said they're about 30 percent higher. But everybody feels than when tr- Trump was there. I mean, that, so, you know, groceries that cost you one hundred dollars and now cost you one hundred and thirty. So if you only have a hundred, you only can buy 70s worth. So everybody is feeling this, CJ, and they can spin it and they can gaslight us about how great the economy is or whatever it is that they're saying. Uh, but you, when you go to the grocery store and you can't buy things the way you were um, and you're trying to put food on the table, I mean, this is real. And you feel it in all walks of life. And uh, even when you go out, you know, I want to ask people out there, CJ, have you been to a convenience store lately? Like we go to a lot of convenience stores because we travel, right? So you're on the road going from you know hotel A to hotel B or you're traveling on the bus. You stop for gas. You have to go in and get. You know, it's things you buy at a convenience store. Water, simple thing like that, Gatorade. I mean, everything is up. You know, sometimes I'll sit there and I'll get four or five things, you know, and it's like I, I told a story about the, the I went to the Wawa the other day and I got like a sandwich, you know, a sandwich, like a sandwich and I think a, a bottle of water and maybe a Gatorade, like three things. And it was like twenty nine dollars. <laughs> like what? There's got to be a mistake. I th- oh yeah, I added a cup of coffee in there. It was twenty nine dollars? I mean, I gave the guy a ten. I expected it to be like nine fifty. I don't know what sandwich was six bucks. I thought yeah, twenty nine dollars. I mean, it doesn't matter where you go or what you buy. Prices are just they're they just anything in food is going up dramatically. And uh, you can't stop yeah. it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And John, again, I'll just give you that number again. Um, uh, monthly household uh, pricing or budget, so however your particular household breaks this down, is up eighteen percent and equates to eleven thousand four hundred dollars uh, per month that Americans across the board are spending more now than they did prior to to Biden. And this is this hurts everybody. I mean, I, even my own family. You know, we're feeling this. My wife has our has our budget for our daughter and grocery shopping, and we've just seen things go up. We've had to look at okay, we may have to get a different brand of cereal this time now because everything is up. And so, I, we really think this is the key. Uh, we've seen um, uh, stats and and different uh, research out there that uh, this is the number one issue uh, for for folks. What, what's hitting them in their pockets? Um, and we want to bring everybody together on this, no matter what your walk of life, no matter what political party you represent. If you are filling these prices, they're hitting you in your pockets and they're making life harder for you and your family. Come out and join us today and learn more about Bidenomics. Uh, we also got a website up, John, Bidenomics.com. Very simply, Bidenomics.com. Uh, there they can go and learn more about uh, what we're doing to fight back against this. 
We're trying to we're building up a coalition nationwide, especially here in Virginia, uh, so folks uh, will know uh, how to fight back against it. C.J. Saylor, Executive Director, America's for Prosperity, Virginia Chapter. Your event tonight at JoJo's Pizza. Where is it again? What time? I think CJ's gone. Sorry about anyway, that, Can you hear me? Yep. Five yeah, o'clock at JoJo's Pizza. Yep. Five o'clock JoJo's Pizza. The Chesterfield location. He's at, he has the downtown location. Don't go to that one. Come out to Chesterfield and join us in Chesterfield County, which is a great county here in our Commonwealth. JoJo's Pizza. And it's free, too.